week on 12 News This Morning, we are joined by the Target 12 investigators. And today, Steph Machado is here in studio to discuss a private trash company that's really been getting a lot of heat from Providence leaders. So, Target 12, you previously reported on waste management when apparently combined trash and recycling. And now, Steph, you're reporting this week that the company is being questioned by city councilors about a spate of these missed pickups, right? That's right. City councilors say they're just getting scores of calls from their constituents mm. about issues with trash, recycling, and yard waste just not being picked up on trash day. They say the bins are overflowing into the streets because they haven't been emptied. The yard waste sits there for weeks, gets rained on, and makes a mess. So I want to show you a chart of the calls into Providence's 311 system. It shows this big increase of complaints in recent months. You can see April, you can see April and May of this year on the right there really spiked. That's when yard waste starts to be put out, by the way, which this company is required to be picked up, is required to pick up, I should say, 248 complaints last month alone, and that's just into 311. It doesn't include folks who called waste management directly or called their city councilor when their trash wasn't picked up. You know, this company does receive a lot of money from taxpayers, so what do they have to say about these numerous complaints and then also how did the city leaders respond to it? That's right. So waste management gets seven million dollars annually from Providence taxpayers and it goes up every year for their contract. An executive from the company did come before the council finance committee and said they're experiencing a labor shortage similar to much of the country, especially CDL licensed truck drivers. And he says there's more trash now. We have been asked to collect far more material than we've ever had to collect. Uh, because of work from home uh, requirements, um, you know, we're seeing uh, 15 to 18 percent more waste materials at the curb that we have to collect. So we're facing and, and having to do more work uh, with with less available, um, you know, resources um, to us. You can say what you want. We're paying you guys a pretty hefty contract for services of picking up trash and yard debris. Not littering our streets more because again, your drivers are, are, are missing trucks and not picking up stuff. Do your job, have your, have your people do their job. And once again, this is not the first story we've done about this company recently. Target 12, you reported earlier in the year uh, about this recycling issue. So what is the recourse for the city? Right, so you might remember this video um, that my colleague Tim White mm. had in a story earlier this year from a security camera uh, showing a garbage truck apparently mixing a homeowner's trash and recycling together. This actually costs taxpayers more money because when it arrives at the waste facility, the truck gets rejected and the city is fined for mixing, recycling, and trash. Now, the city's contract with waste management does include a provision for fines. If they commingle trash and recycling, the fine is $2,500, and if they miss waste pickup, it's $1,000 the Alorza administration has chosen not to levy those fines at this time, instead pledging to work with the company to try and ensure the best service for residents. That did not sit well with some city councilors. Danielle, they say it's time to have a heavier hand here and start imposing those penalties. All right, Steph, thanks for staying on top of this. And you can read all of Steph Machado's City Hall reporting right now on WPRI.com.